This is the Graduate Monkey Logical Reasoning Test video tutorial series. In this tutorial, you'll learn about sequences of shapes and patterns that move clockwise or anti-clockwise in a set order, or under the control of a certain cue. We're going to look at the two main types of moving shapes and pattern sequences. One is where the shapes move in a certain order at each step. The second is where the movement of shapes and patterns is controlled by a certain trigger, cue or a sign. Let's take a look at the first one where the, there's a set order in which the shapes move in a sequence. Here's the first type of sequence of five shapes. The sequence develops from left to right. Notice that both the black L shape and the white hexagon move clockwise. The L shape moves at every step while the hexagon shape moves at every two steps in the sequence. Therefore, after the fifth pattern, there should come a pattern where the hexagon stays unmoved from the previous step, while the L shape moves one more step. However, since the L shape moves at each step, the two sh shapes should overlap at step 6. Let's take a look at the movement. Take another look. In sum, the next pattern in the sequence should be D. Here's a pattern with a similar sequence to the first example. Take a look at how the sequence develops. Both the hexagon and the triangle arrows move clockwise. However, the hexagon moves first while the triangle remains static at step 2. And then at step 3, the triangle moves while the hexagon stays unmoved. Since at step 5, it was the triangle that moved, at step 6, it should be the hexagon that moves clockwise. Let's take a look at it again. Hence, the correct answer should be E. Here's another type of sequence where three shapes move turn by turn. As you can see here, there are three embedded shapes in the sequence that move clockwise. Take a look at how the sequence develops. As you can see, the shapes move in turns, so when one moves, all the others remain still. The first move is initiated by the black pie shape, the X shape moves second, and the star shape moves third, and then it's the pie shape's turn again. Take a look at the sequence again. Since after the pie shape comes the X, the next pattern in the sequence must be E. There is another common type of sequence where two or more shapes move simultaneously to www.graduatemonkey.com.